Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another bow review. Um, Jake and John here with the Prang Man podcast. This time we have a PSC 2019 Evoke 31 that we got from our buddy Corey Miller up at Triple X Archery. Corey, thank you, thank you, thank you for sending this down. Um, I uh, apologize with the uh, selfies and the texts, uh, and uh, <laughs> I understand that you don't want to get back to me on the same day that uh, I try to reach out to you, but uh, thank you anyway. Um, Jake's going to talk a little bit about the specs. Yeah, yeah. we have a uh, 2019 Evoke 31. The PSC line uh, made some big, big changes about two years ago when they came out with the Evolve, uh, <clears throat> which was their top of the line bow at the time. And, you know, just like we've seen with some of the other manufacturers that have made big changes, uh, they've stuck with that and they've kind of just uh, used that platform and changed some things as, as, you know, shooters have come out and said, hey, that's a great bow, but we'd like this or you know, it'd be really cool if we could see this in that bow. So PSC's kind of done the same thing here with the Evoke. The Evolve cam system you're going to see on this bow was a huge hit for PSC two years ago. And uh, they've made some tweaks to it. It's super user friendly for both the dealer um, and the user if you want to switch your, your modules, switch your draw lengths. Um, it's got some really cool technology in the, uh, uh, in the cable containment system. But the biggest thing you're going to see, and we'll cover this a little bit later on when we shoot it, is the riser. Um, much, much stiffer riser this year. They've made some changes in the design. Some may say it's caged. It's caged. Yeah, it's yep. caged. Double cage. So, yeah. You yep. got your top cage, got your bottom cage. Uh, so we'll take a look at that. Uh, just a quick look at the specs. 31, as you can imagine, 31 inches axle to axle. John? Yep. Boom. Yep. Six inches of brace height. Spot 100% on. awesome. Spot on. From the factory. Yes. So we didn't, uh, we didn't mess with it at all. 31 inches axle to axle, six inch brace. They're claiming this bow shoots about 342. They give it a range of 342 to 346. Um, PSCs always kind of push the limits on speed. Most of their bows, um, and I will say this, their bows have come a long way as far as the comfortability factor. They've always had fast bows, but these bows have become very, very joyful to shoot. So really, really nice. So a uh, big wide range of, of people can shoot this bow all the way down to 24 inches of draw length, all the way up to 30 inches of draw length. Um, 24 it, and a half. 24 and a half. 24. My apologies. We'll get we'll get torn up <laughs> if, if that's not right. Wow, that's a big save right Man, there. Watch your back, buddy. Oh, thanks. That's why you're here. Now, 30 inches of draw length is where it peaks out. But if you are a tall guy, you have a big uh, bone you got big, guy, big shoulders, big shoulders. You like to hoop it up. By the way, we're looking for a center uh, in the worst way for our intramural basketball league. So if you are yeah. a 31-inch drawing... And you live in the Willamette Valley area, please <laughs> reach out to us. Uh, we would, we'd love to talk to you. So uh, if you are one of those guys and you have a 31, 32-inch drawing, they do make an e, uh, Evoke 35, which is 35 inches axle axle. That would be about that long. <laughs> And it does go out to 30, 32 inches of draw length, so you're going to be able to get uh, some some longer draw lengths. It's got a, a little bit different riser design, um, but for the most part, it's it's a very similar bow. But it's really cool that PSE offers two bows, and and you know, some people just like a longer bow. Um, and they and I know you for many many years have shot. Um, if there's an offering to have a 33 or 34 yeah, inch bow, yeah, long bow, yeah. Long so bow. Um, a lot of cool stuff with this bow. So we're going to shoot it, uh, let you know what we think, let you know what the chronograph says. Uh, we're going to give you uh, the usual rundown on draw cycle, back wall, valley, and the dwell zone. The dwell zone. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. We're just taking a quick time out to measure some, some very serious kinetic energy. I know a lot of you out there have been wondering the speed of a rope hand strike from a guy like myself. So we're just going to check it out here. 122 feet a second. <laughs> <laughs> Eat that, Van Dam. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. One, two, three. Okay, okay. Let me take the. This is causing a lot of uh, drag. Yeah, that's not. That's very, a lot of drag. That's, that's not very. Yeah, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> well, I got to reset. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, 99. Oh, I'm <laughs> slowing down. Oh, I shouldn't have done my upper body today. <laughs> yeah, winded. Three fifty, three forty nine point four.
413. Cool. Okay, guys, here we are in front of the chrono. Uh, the moment of truth, Evoke 31. My beautiful assistant's going to throw me an arrow. This arrow is 349 and some change, 350 grains for all intents and purposes. 70 pounds. This is set at 30 inches, and we will see what uh, we're going to do. I can tell you right now, I do like that grip a lot. Um, it's just machined right into the riser, um, but I, I've always kind of liked that flat back. Uh, so I really do like that, but we'll shoot it and we'll see what speeds we get and see what, uh, see what she can do. We lost, uh, lost some fuzz. 340 feet a second. Jake, can you bring that around and look at that? So these, uh, the strings um, that come on these uh, evokes, uh, they're called live wire strings and they have a little tag on them and uh, I shot it off. So that's, if you, see, if you see that, that's what it was. Um, really nice. Uh, the draw cycle on this thing is sweet. I, uh, I haven't shot, um, I haven't shot any of the bows in the Evolve series, uh, so I'm really impressed with this cam. All right, bow got 340 feet a second. Draws really, really nice. Um, the draw stops on this bow come into contact with the cables a full draw. Uh, that being said, typically a lot of bows uh, where that is the case, you have a little bit of sponge in the back wall. Um, this was very, very solid. The cable tension on this bow must be really, really high. Um, I really like the dwell zone, as Jake would say. Uh, you do have uh, a little area to creep in there, and the let off was, was really nice, so it's a really nice bow. Uh, Jake's going to shoot a little bit heavier arrow, and we'll see what kind of speeds we get. All right, Johnny, thanks. Uh, good, good review. I have a little bit heavier arrow here. We got a victory VAP. This came in at 413 grains, so this is going to be a little bit probably more realistic to what most of us are shooting uh, for a hunting setup. So the trend is definitely kind of heavier, heavier arrows right now. So it's always good to see what these bows do um, with a little bit heavier setup. So let's take a look. <clears throat> Man, you sit there all day. That's all day. It's like five seconds. Three, two. <clears throat> 413 grains came in at 317 feet per second. So per John, just to recap on the specs, uh, he shot the IBO spec arrow at 350 grains and that came at 340 feet per second. They claim 342, so they're, I mean, they're right there, you, you know. Different chronographs gonna give you a couple of different feet, plus we got a loop on here. So that is really, really respected. I mean, that is one thing when you buy any bow, you really want that uh, speed rating to be pretty darn close to what they said. So even at 400 plus grains, you're well, well over 300 feet per second. Um, <clears throat> felt really nice. Uh, you know, I definitely second everything John said. It felt really good in the hand. It's, it's a good, it's about a four pound bow. I don't think we mentioned that in the specs before. So it's about 4.2 pounds. It's balanced really nice, you know, short little limbs. Um, most bows don't have a whole lot of movement or, or bump anymore, and, and, and this is no exception. It feels really good. Um, but I, I'll just say the, <laughs> I, I know there's a lot of different debates on let off and, you know, whether, you know, higher let off is good for shooting and this and that and the other. Uh, I, this is a very, very comfortable bow to shoot. And the speeds that it's putting out, uh, I mean, you can shoot this bow at 60 pounds and still still have a, a ton of kinetic energy and a ton of power so really really nice um it, you know just everybody always wants to know like how does this bow compare to the next and you know what about matthews and hoyt and Bowtech? uh i'm telling you this is a great year 2019 is a great year uh, definitely check them all out but this this is one i would not uh pass up definitely uh, worth a look and, and it's it's it was really a pleasure to shoot so we're gonna we're gonna shoot it a few more times and then uh Kind of wrap it up and let you know what we think.
Uh, we're going to shoot it one more time. Um, just kind of want to take you through the draw cycle as I go through it and let you know how the back wall feels. One, two, one thing to kind of kind of watch, if, if you can tell, is, is cam timing. You know, you, you want to, as you're shooting any bow, you want to kind of feel those cams turn over at the same point. And, and with, with two draw stops, some bows only have one draw stop. So uh, basically where the, the, the cam terminates on the string or the cable, uh, this one has two, so one time, you know, one thing you can sometimes feel is one cam turning over just slightly before the first. So I'm going to kind of just show you this one more time, let you know how, how it goes. So ramps a little bit towards the end, but really not too bad. Um, I'm just going to let up a little bit here. Man, it's, the timing is really, really nice. These cams are, these cams are hitting at the exact same time. Three sixteen, so it's coming in uh, again with a four hundred plus grain arrow, uh, well over three hundred feet per second. So, uh, just kind of looking at the back end of the draw cycle when you start to nitpick some of these bows, and I'm telling you, this cam system that PSE has is, is top notch, man. It feels really, really good. So we're gonna go uh, just kind of go over some things finally and uh, give it, give you our thoughts. Okay, go. All right, guys, we're almost wrapped up here. Uh, we're going to talk about a few of the highlights. Stop. We're going to talk about a few of the highlights available. Uh, <laughs> got them. Did. All right, guys, we're almost finished up here. Um, I want to talk about just a couple more highlights on this bow. Um, it's a very, very nice bow, but I want to cover the cam cams one more time. So if 80% let off is not enough uh, for your liking, and you'd like to hold an additional 10 to 15 minutes on that uh, <laughs> game uh, when it's in front of you. You can also get this in 90% let off. Get out. You have 80% let off on the shelf. You got 90% let off on the shelf. Which one are you going to go with? 90%. Yeah, 90% <laughs> Every off. time. Every time. Why would you even go with 80? Uh, so in all seriousness, that's a really, really nice feature. And then just the fact that these are so easy to adjust in terms of draw length. Um, my hat's off to PSC there. You do not need to press this bow to change the draw length and the lettering on the cams that signify what draw length setting you're in, they're just very, very easy to, to discern. So mm -hmm. uh, that's a really nice feature. And Jake's going to talk a little bit more about the bow. No, he's not. I am. No. Uh, I really <laughs> like this camo pattern. It's uh, called Cryptek Altitude, and this is a, a pattern that Cryptek just recently came out with. Um, they have a – what's that? Last year. Yeah, well, it was last year, wasn't it? Yeah, it was last year. Might have been two years ago. I, it might have been two years ago. <laughs> I don't know. New to us. This particular bow uh, is in that pattern, but you can't really, it, the, the video doesn't do it justice. It's very crisp, very clean. The pattern's in all of these cutouts of the riser, and they do that through a process called dye sublimation, I believe. Dye sub. Dye sublimation. And it's, uh, I believe that's an additional $50 uh, on top of, um, the standard uh, cost of the bow. Uh, mm -hmm. Jake, what's this bow MSRP for? Uh, you're looking at nine ninety nine American, mm. thousand bucks. So thousand dollars, you can get get the bow. Uh, if you want the color fusion, which is what PSE, that's that's uh, the dye sublimator that they're using. Uh, it's super reputable. They do color fusion is does just some amazing work. So uh, if you want the color fusion bow, which is going to be all dye sub. Top to bottom, it's extra fifty bucks, so thousand fifty dollars. And if you're already spending a thousand bucks, what's another? What's 50? another fifty? So, uh, yeah, cams are awesome. The bow was was you know head to toe was. I, I gotta say, and, and <clears throat> those of you that watched our stuff, you know we've done some other manufacturers in the past. We have not done PSE before, and full on you know full transparency, we have not shot a lot of PSE bows. I mean we have, but just not at length and. This was a joy to shoot. Very, very nice bow. Super, super. The bow was really tight. Um, but, you know, they have locking pockets, so you, you just didn't feel anything move. It was super, super, super solid at the back wall. I was, I was really, really impressed with this bow. Um, one thing that um, I, and one reason for that feeling um, was the riser. So PSE has used uh, a bridged riser, which you see. Um, as we shot the bow, and, and you can hop on their website as well, but you have a bridge in the top and you got a bridge in the bottom right here. What that does is just add a lot of stability 
and uh, rigidity to the riser. So one thing, just kind of as we're closing up here, um, you hear the word riser flex thrown around a little bit, and it, you can't see this with the naked eye, but if you, if you guys have ever uh, seen a bow uh, in, in high speed shot, there's the, the bow does, any bow, it doesn't matter if it's PSE or, or any other manufacturer, there's a lot of movement um, to that bow. So they've really stiffened up the riser and, and uh, you know, anytime you can, any machine you can take movement out of it, it's gonna be much more efficient. And that's why they're getting such great speeds and, and low noise and, and, and low shock. Uh, it's it's really really nice whether you're you know looking for a shorter bow 31 they also have the 35 a lot of options so uh, one other thing uh, finally I'm just going to touch on is uh, PSE has uh, last year came out with a string string and cable that they make in house called Live Wire you've seen the uh, tag fly off when we shot it the first time um, but that is a process that they have uh, come up with in house that they do uh, do right there at the factory and it's uh, for a little bit that I've read on it they actually are able to stretch, um, all these strings are synthetics, they, they stretch all of the, uh, the the individual strands before they put it on and then they have a machine, while it's at full tension, serve the bow. So, you know, you we've all been there, we've uh, bows in the past, <laughs> you put your peep sight in or your loop on and after a few shots it starts to turn. Um, you know, a lot of the bows are really great, but PSC's uh, taken an extra step and, and uh, made sure that the strings aren't gonna move and stretch on you, so. Um, should be available at pretty much any of your local PSE dealers. Uh, we want to thank Corey at Triple X Archery one more time up in Rainier. Thanks, uh, Corey. Yeah, thanks, Corey. Uh, we'll send the bill for this. So, yeah, we appreciate it. Um, all that aside, if you like us, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Uh, we also have a podcast. Where can they find that? Uh, they can find the podcast. Uh, you can find the video format on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Make sure to uh, subscribe and hit that uh, bell icon on YouTube. Um, that's obviously where we we will be posting this, as well as uh, like and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And if you get a chance, jump on over to the Praying Man uh, Outfitter website, prayingman.com, and check out some pretty cool hunting gear there. Yeah, Praying Man, P-R-E-Y, Praying. We like... Uh... Uh, we spelled it P-R-E-Y-I-N-G-M-A-N. So uh, Google it. Probably find a lot of other options. You know, webs, it's out there. <laughs> it's out there, though. <laughs> so we really appreciate it. Again, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Sounds good.